recording. Okay, so uh, what we've got here is I actually wanted to do a pie chart. Do you remember when I made a bit of a mistake and uh, I've just highlighted all of this data here? Uh, how many languages can you speak conversationally? Okay, and these numbers, if I filter them, you know, from small to big, goes from one all the way down to five. And then there's these kind of things where, yeah, the people, you might want to categorize these. So you could even go over these and actually just, just fill them in with your best guess. Or, or you might choose to ignore them as outliers because they didn't, you know, they weren't in the right format for you. Or, or you can update one to three, two, I guess. Maybe you could write that as two. Two to three, you change that to 2.5. So you have to make a decision there. But here's, here's my new thing. My new thing is we are going to name, we're going to name this column um, from here, the very first data entry point, I did a little click, and then I'm going to scroll down to the last entry. The last entry I'm going to have is, oh, which which question am I on? <laughs> How many countries have you lived in? Oh, no, let, let me go languages spoken, that sort of thing. One down to, here we go, here we go, here we go, here. I'm going to do shift click. So that's all of that column highlighted. Um, up to the nice numbers. But now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to call this all that data. If you go to data and you go to named ranges, I'm going to call this languages. Okay, so oh, let's spell it right. Let me just call it lang. Lang. Done. Okay. So now down here I'm going to do something really fancy. I'm going to put here, I'm going to do some tables of values. One language spoke, two languages, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? And I suppose we need to see, is there any... Oh, look, can you see there's one point... I think there's one point five there. There's a one point five. And there's also a two point five here. I don't think there's any three point fives. So I'm going to put one, one point five, two, two point five and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now here's the exciting bit. We're going to put a formula in here. Equals C-O-U-N-T count if. So this is a condition. I'm going to count if, open bracket, I'm going to type in L-A-N-G. So you see how it turned orange? So count if the people in the languages, comma, C249. Now what the heck is going on there? So it's going to count all of those numbers in that particular column called lang and it's going to return how many numbers in that lang column have got number one attached to it. So I press close bracket. So 40 people speak one language. Now the good news is if I point to the bottom corner here and I just drag down, look what it's done. In here it's got the formula how many people speak 1.5 languages? And in here, how many speak people speak um, two languages? So that, that's pretty cool, because then we can just highlight this, make it central, put some headers on there, and put a uh, number of languages spoken, and this could be frequency. Okay, um, what I'm gonna do, hold for that, I'm just gonna cut it, X, and then paste it V, so I didn't want it to be in the green highlighted section up here. And now watch the magic. If I highlight down to, I think just to here, isn't it? Because there's there's nobody above there. And now when I insert a chart, it does this weird one, but now just go up to here and choose your pie chart. Boom! Frequency versus number of languages spoken. So it's just really nice there, isn't it? And then you can actually, you can customize it you can go to the pie chart itself. Um, you can, I don't know, I think pie slice, um, legends, you can start to play with it. Okay, uh, so there you go. That's that done. And then you can change the look of this as you want on the right. So I'm going to stop.